Hey, it's that time again, folks. We're going to be tackling the Z33, Z34 gearbox shifter relocation kit. Now, that's 350, 370Z CD series for those that don't know. Now, let's open the box and peep the steez. As you can see, this is the complete kit. Here you have your shifter bracket. You have your shifter itself. You have two thick washers, two thin washers, long and short bolts plus washers, the dog leg, and the spring pin. Now let's toss this sucker on, shall we? First thing to do is to disassemble the shifter assembly by loosening these nuts. Pull off the plate and separate it from the housing. Now remove the long Allen bolts from the housing itself. Pop the shifter rod out from the housing and remove the spring. Then lube that thing up like no tomorrow. Put the housing base into the bracket and make sure the cutout section is facing the right side. Flip the bracket over and get all the long Allen key bolts started by hand through the bracket to the housing. Then torque to the spec seen below. Now that you finish that, disassemble the shifter cup itself. Take the bolts out and toss some of that good good on the top and bottom cup. The rod pivot ball itself and the shifter bushing at the bottom. Look at us go. Still. Reassemble, making sure the cutout matches where the pin goes. Toss the bolts back in and get them finger tight. I know you work out, but do not over tighten these. Make sure the shifter moves freely and smoothly inside the cup as shown here. Then lube up the outside of the cup, put the spring into the base, and pop the shifter assembly into the base, making sure that the pin faces outward. Toss the plate on top, add the washers and nuts, and tighten those loosely. Reason being, we need to adjust the reverse lockout later on. Moving on to the transmission. Remove that OEM shifter bracket via the four bolts seen here. And toss that thing on eBay. Now peel back the dust boot to reveal the pin. Knock that out with a punch and remove the OEM linkage and the boot. Temporarily install the dog leg using the punch to hold it in place. Mark the selector shaft with your favorite marking tool, add a rag to protect from bits, and shave the section of the selector off with your tool of choice. Clean the edges up, remove the rag, pop the OEM shift to boot back on, make sure to position the drain hole towards the bottom as shown here. Time to install the dog leg for real this time and there are two ways to do so. Grab the spring pin and a hammer and use a block of wood from the other side, or grab a big old pair of channel locks and power it on home. Make sure the pin is even on both sides. Now the kit comes with thick spacers and thinner spacers as we mentioned earlier, and you will need to use all four for gearboxes older than CD009. Now let's install the shifter bracket. Make sure to leave the bolts loose and make sure the gearbox is in neutral and let's get our adjustment on. The lower hole here is for pre-CD009 and the upper hole is for post-CD009. The top can also be adjusted for the bracket as a whole. We made it like this because you will notice when trying to select reverse that the bushing may get stuck in its downward position as shown here. The bushing cocks to the side in the dog leg causing damage and loss of the bushing. This is because you need to adjust the bracket properly. You do this by making sure the bushing is level with the top of the dog leg while in neutral. Now that it's good and proper, hold it in place, tighten down the four bolts, then torque to the specs shown on the screen. You guessed it, it's time to adjust that top plate for the reverse lockout. Go ahead and select either fifth or sixth gear and move the plate till it's just barely touching the side of the pin, hold it and tighten the nuts down. Test the reverse lockout to make sure it's aligned properly. Then torque to the specs shown below. Be careful, as the bolts may move from the bottom. If they do, grab your trusty Allen wrench and secure from underneath whilst torquing. This kit will not work with yokes larger than OEM, that being 90 millimeters. Now gingerly insert the tail shaft and make sure it's free and clear of hitting anything. From the OEM yoke to the dog leg, there will be 15 millimeters or a little over half inch of clearance. Now install the shifter boot collar by tightening down the set screw, toss a GK Tech gear knob on, and make sure you can row through all the gears. But then, get your Fast and the Furious style ship test on by slamming them gears. Toss the trans back in the car and enjoy that hot boy fresh six speed. Officer Dan out skis.
Peep us on the YouTube and throw your boys some subs.